Let me tell you a lesson my boxing coach once taught me. Now, I am a man who's extremely competitive. I have such high competitive strength inside of me. And if I see someone outperforming me or outcompeting me in a realm where I want to do it, I just get angry. I get mad. Now, with the immense levels of testosterone I have using biogenesis, I wasn't boxing, right? I entered boxing and I was shit at first. I was absolute dog shit. Like, look at the comparison of my shadow boxing back then and then currently. And I entered and my coach saw that I was shit and he put me through rigorous training. But the competitive and indomitable spirit within me forced me to forge a path to way, way better growth, right? And eventually something bad happened. Eventually, ego started corrupting my mind. But not the good kind of ego where it's like, I'm better, I will be better and be better and be better. The kind of ego that tells me, you know what? You are no longer a student. You learned everything you need to know. And in a combat sport like boxing, where you're put up against other opponents, this can be devastating. So I'm out there with my ego, sparring this, sparring this, going hard, going hard. And I'm absolutely demolishing. I'm clobbering everyone who stands in my path. And my coach is noticing. He's noticing my technique falling off. He's noticing seeing the ego in me rising he's noticing me just like spreading my lats <laughs> spreading my lats in the rings and just pretending to be vegeta from dragon ball basically and he's noticing that and he doesn't like it he doesn't like how i'm performing because sure i am performing in a way where yeah i beat the other opponents but not personally i'm not performing personally like with with the right character for this kind of sport so what does my boxing coach do at the time i was around 170 pounds i'm five foot nine right so i'm not a big guy 170 five foot nine and my coach notices something he notices like this this whole ego thing right so he devises a plan he devises a plan that every single like I'd, I'd go spar every single time but one day you know how there's weight classes in combat sports like a guy who's 130 pounds can't fight a guy who's 230 pounds it's just stupid <laughs> that that doesn't work one day my coach decides, you know what? Today, Ali, we're gonna teach you a lesson. We're gonna teach you a lesson and we're going to throw in a guy who's six foot four, 235 pounds inside the ring for you so you'll learn to become this egotistical motherfucker. You will get mauled. Obviously, he didn't say this to me, but he just said, Ali, get ready. And then like the guy's name, get ready. And then the second I hear his name, I'm like, what the hell? Listen, how? I just look at the coach and the coach is just, <laughs> looking at me like this i'm like oh shit oh shit like i'm not going to show fear to this guy because again of, of this ego i have in my mind but at the same time i know i'm about to get mauled so i stand my ground and i spread my lats like vegeta and i walk into the ring i'm just pretending not to be scared i enter the ring i open the 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 ring side and i go to my corner put my gloves on you know uh, tie them up I'm just leaning on the ring, just pretending to be confident. <laughs> just trying to look tough and everything, because people were watching. People were like, what? How is this even? What's the how? How? This fight isn't, it doesn't even, like, it shouldn't happen. And I'm just sitting there, waiting, waiting. And I see the guy with his big tree trunk legs. The guy was huge. Not 230 pounds as in like, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a fucking tumble ball. No, he wasn't fat. The guy was jacked. He was jacked. And he, like his, his abs were made out of steel, right? And he's entering the ring. And then the second we made eye contact, I knew it was over. I knew it was over, but I pretended to literally not. Like if you looked at me, you'd think, oh yeah, this guy's gonna, he's so confident. Inside, I was like, I was actually gonna shit myself. But I stared death and fear in the eyes and I continued. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I walk forward. Defense intact, defense up. And he's walking forward. His legs shook the ground, man. It literally shook the ground. Step after step after step after step. And then he just walked right through me. No stopping. Like a titanium bell of steel. Titanium and steel forged into one. Just walking forward like this cannonball. Crushing everything in its path. He just walked forward. Left, right. Broke through my entire guard. Nothing. My guard was too weak for it at the time. This shit broke through my guard and I just got smacked. I got butchered. I was like, what? what? What am I supposed to do against this? I have to last, what, like six, nine minutes? Six, nine, six to nine minutes inside. No, no, it was not six to nine. It was like three minutes in, 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 the, in the ring with this guy. And literally within the first 10 seconds, I'm getting bombarded by colossal forces of nature, which were his fists. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. Okay, current objective, survive. 
and I'm getting mauled and mauled and mauled left and right and left and right and he's hitting me in the liver and I'm going like this and I'm trying to jab I'm trying to jab but the thing is he's so tall and he's so big his arms are just huge his arms are just gigantic so I can't reach him with my jab and I can't do anything all I can do is like just try and defend and then something happens something clicks within me amidst this barrage of bullshit amidst this this bloodied nose i'm beginning to get amidst this crushed spirit and soul that he's attempting to put upon me i get a thought i get a thought and i get a memory that my coach once said my coach once said when your opponent is barraging you down you don't defend you attack back hard because what happens when you're blocking? The martial artists will know this. When you're blocking and someone's just barraging you, he's just going to keep on walking forward. He's not going to stop. He's going to keep his jabs going. He's going to keep his crosses going. He's going to keep the attacks coming. But what he's not going to see is your sudden flurry of almost like revenge attack. It's not really revenge attacks, but your sudden flurry of attacks thrown right back at him. So in the midst of all this battering and bombardment of attacks that I'm getting, I just think, wait, wait, what if I try like really, really hard to go right through under, like Mike Tyson style, go right through under and just attack, just throw a flurry. So after a solid 60 seconds of me getting bombarded and my coach just sitting there smiling, knowing he's teaching me a lesson, everyone looking at me get bombarded out of nowhere i just throw this flurry this combo man i was literally like bruce lee coming out of that shit left right hook right left hook left body everything right and for one point in that battle the guy stopped the guy put his own guard up the only time he put his guard up was when i actually started attacking when I actually started attacking and doubling down, because if I did not attack, I would have been destroyed way earlier. Kept my guard up, he's just, I'm perfectly in his range. Left, right, left, right, left, right, hook, hit me here, body shot, left, right. I would have zero chance to retaliate. But when I did, he put his guard up. And then I threw my own flurry and barrage, and that's when he started to actually try hard. And of course, I still got butchered. I was, I was an amateur, right? I was an amateur at the time, way worse, absolutely way worse than I was. But the whole point of this story is to tell you that when you are in your darkest times, when it is stressful, when you don't know whether you should continue through with it or not, what do you do? You double down. Why? Because it's risky. And at the end of the day, who always wins in our realm of self-improvement and wanting to literally grab the top fruits the highest echelons of life who wins in this realm of self-evolution is it the guys who are too scared to take risks is it the guys who are too scared to let their guard down and go double in double out it's not those guys it's the guys who double like literally double top that shit okay this business didn't work it didn't it didn't help me out i'm gonna double in the investment i've been like i've been making videos for for so long on the channel and i still haven't get any views okay i'm gonna hire an editor now and i'm gonna hire a short form content creator you double down on your investment you double down on whatever it is you're not seeing gains in the gym okay you're gonna double down on the weight you use or the amount of sets you do or, or the amount of food you eat you double down you attack the best way to create results for yourself rapidly is to go all out attack all out attack defensive mode is not for us it is not for us right now you have to obviously be intelligent with this kind of thing don't go into the trading markets after a loss and say oh man i'm, I'm doubling down i'm doubling down there are restrictions to this kinds of to this kind of measure but in areas where you can control like your business like your physique like your mental health like anything of the sort you double down and you force yourself to actually get the results that you want because when you double down you tell yourself i am going all out on this thing all out attack and eventually eventually the universe just bends to your will and sees how hard you try it sees how hard you put in effort it sees how strong you are and how unbreakable your will is and it says i can't keep holding back anymore i give up 
I bow down to you. That is what you must do to the universe. You must break the universe's will. You must have a will, a stronger mind than whatever the universe can throw upon you. Because yes, you can defeat mother nature and you can defeat the universe's will. The laws of the universe say the man who works brutally hard is impossible, impossible to defeat. It is impossible to defeat his soul. It is absolutely impossible to defeat my soul. It is impossible to defeat the man who will be successful soul. You can throw, you can blow up my business tomorrow you can i can lose everything here on this channel and for the past year it's been declining because of the evil people on top do you see me for a second for the slightest shadow of a doubt think ah i'm done with youtube no i will show up here every single day because it is not about quality or it's not about quantity it's about quality and it's also about doubling down putting more in more out more in more out with the release of blackton who have also got a speech similar to this earlier with this release do you think I was thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't make and, and create this family. Maybe I shouldn't found this family because uh, because of the, the view counts are dropping. Absolutely not. I doubled down and the amount of, of results and paying off that I'm experiencing right now and that our family is experiencing and benefiting from is absolutely immense. You must understand that this is the iron mindset. The iron mindset where you will double down and you will fuck the universe in absolutely each and every single realm that exists out there. Oh, you can't get the physique yet? Like I said, double down. The business doesn't work yet? Oh, like I said, double down. In each and every single one of these realms, you have to go all out attack. Why? Because the universe is like that opponent in the ring. It will keep battering you with its jabs, with its rights, with its hooks. It will keep battering you and it will continue doing that if you let it if you try and keep your guard up thinking that will save you the only thing that will save you that will defeat your opponent which is in this case the universe and its laws is when you go all out attack so when you say no no man i'm scared i'm scared okay let me switch let me hop business model when you say okay this isn't working maybe i should just start you know waking up later because uh, uh because it won't work that's not what you do. What you do is you wake up at 5 a.m. when you can see the sun beginning to rise. Look at that magnificent nature in the background. When you see that, that's what you do. You wake up earlier and you fight the demons. You fight the demons. You don't hold your guard up against them because the demons will absolutely destroy every living being of soul inside of you. You stand no chance against these demons of the universe and these demons come at you from every single angle. Wish not for a lighter load, but for a stronger back.